What's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about shotgun trucks. Now the shotgun's been cleared. Nothing in it. So a choke tube is something that throws in the end of a shotgun. your shotgun barrel to determine what kind of shot spread you're going to get. These aren't on all shotgun barrels, just a performance grade, if you will, shotgun barrels. This is my Remington 1187. It came with this barrel and a short barrel. Both of them have the insert where you can insert your choke tube. So there are three common Types of choke tubes, there's, excuse me, improved cycle, modified, and full choke. Those are the three most common chokes. Like I said, with each choke tube, each choke tube determines how much of a spread you're going to get at roughly 40 yards. So this is in this shotgun. Now your shotgun, if it has a threaded um, barrel, will come with this tool. Pop it in there. Spin it. And it'll take out your tube, your uh, tube tube. As stated in this, I have a uh, full choke. Now these are all Remington branded. These are what came with the shotgun when it was purchased new before I was even born. Like I said, this is the full choke. So at 40 yards, a full choke is going to have the tightest number of uh, pellets of shot. So squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, stuff like that sure how close you're going to be. Um, full choke is best for those applications for hunting, for squirrel, rabbit, stuff like that. Now you don't, when you tighten these up, you don't have to make them ungodly tight. So step down from modified choke. This one is rarely used. Now, modified choke is a step down from full choke where it's going to have a slightly more dispersed shot. So, they'll be used more for, um, they're more commonly used for duck hunting, uh, any type of waterfowl hunting, um, or bird hunting really. Modified choke is, is pretty common used for that now this is you can use whatever you prefer this is all your discretion I'm just going based off of um, more commonly used applications so like I said a modified choke will be used more for waterfowl bird hunting stuff like that whereas a full choke is going to be used more for um, squirrel hunting rabbit hunting maybe even deer hunting we'll get to that in a second so after so a step down from improved or a step down from modified choke is the improved cylinder choke. Now improved cylinder, I don't know anybody that's, that ever really uses this, but from what I found online, the improved cylinder choke is really common in uh, clay shooting, target shooting, um, stuff like that where stuff like that where it's just target practice or target shooting for sport or whatever that is when imperial or improved cycle improved cycling choke will come
come in. Now, my Remington 187 actually came with a rifle choke. Now, a rifle choke, let's see if we can see here. All right, yeah. So, inside, you can see grooves, and those grooves are what's called rifling. So, it's like a twist in the choke. So, shotgun hunting, or hunting with a shotgun, whatever. If you are using slugs, they mean what's called savage slugs, they mean what's called rifled slugs. Savage slugs are to be used shooting out of a rifled barrel. So, with this choke, I can use a rifled slug. Or I can use a savage slug, smoothbore slug, and fire it out of the shotgun. Or I can use the full choke and shoot a rifled slug out of it. Rifled is going to be used for smoothbore barrel shotgun. So rifled slugs have the twist on the bullet itself. And the smoothbore barrel, whereas savage slugs are going to be smooth bullet with a twist in the barrel to get it to spin. Now with rifling, the reason you want it, if you aren't common with or familiar with this, rifling the twist in the barrel running the bullet is what gives it the most accuracy. So that's where a rifled choke or a rifled slug will come, in, come into play. So that'll, the really common performance grade shotguns, you're not going to get it really in a, you know, cheapo, um, you know, generic made shotgun. It'll be for performance grade shotgun. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be the most successful shotgun because the Remington 1187 isn't the most expensive shotgun. It's just a performance grade for what it is. Um, those are where you'll see more, more so the the chokes being used, and uh, it, they're common in like waterfowl guns and stuff like that. So that'll take care of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for supporting. Take care. And have a great day.